what's above out in the outer space. Okay, Maureen got her field plowed by Danny, apparently. Maureen, <laughs> damn, have your dresses still open. I haven't told Nick this, but I was never alone with a boy before. So Nick is, appears to be an old man. Today we are back, and it's a wonderful day to be alive. We're plowing my field, guys. Growing my grains, my corns. I got my butter over there, too. I'm Amish now, I'm Amish, whatever it is. Psych! I'm English! <laughs> It's like a weird thing that Amish people say when they are referring to people who aren't Amish. Call them English. We're gonna be learning about Amish today on the with the Learning Channel. We're gonna be reviewing TLC's Return to Amish, guys. We're gonna watch a Amish girl loser <laughs> and then get a belly button piercing and then go to a grocery store. So please strap in. This is some of the weirdest I've ever seen in my life. Get hyped! TLC simply does not miss. This is an excellent show. And about the Amish, I'm not sure where they went, but I guess they're returning. Lord of the Amish 3. Return. Got some eye stuff, so this is like a, a bit of an intro stick. to the entire situation. I like my makeup. And That's that Maureen. Is a big no no for the Amish. Right, no no and no. It makes me feel like so glamorous if I put True. makeup on and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Same as well, you know? Because makeup's like kind of a new modern thing that people just recently got access to. I'm not sure, where, you know, the, the Amish are, they're not allowed to have it because of that. Why the fuck is Also, how about that mullet? <laughs> But yes, I, I too feel glamorous when I wear makeup. There she is, picking the stalls. I want to leave the Amish because all we do really is so, work and sleep and we're not allowed to really go out and have fun. That sucks. I pretty much do the same thing, but I'm not Amish though. And I, do, I don't really, uh, yeah. Wait, who's this? She looks like a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Florida with Marine. This is very emotional. Hopefully they don't expect me to get emotional. It's a really hard decision to make because you don't get to see your family anymore. You don't get Wait. to see like your nieces and nephews. So once you leave, it's it's gone. You're gone for good. It sounds a little bit like a cult, guys. <laughs> is this an Amish or Scientology? Holy shit! That's Maureen. Compramos carros y camionetas. She's an Amish school teacher. So I don't know. I. It's so sad, like I can't- What the f***? Do you expect us to take this shit seriously? You're just kneeling in a pig pen with Them. two of the f beastliest hogs I've ever seen! So I am so attached to each of them, like- What the f*** is that? They're so sweet, all of them. Who, the pigs or the children that you teach? I know if I leave the Amish, my students will not respect me. Right, Don't as they should. I'm a bad person. As you are. You know? That sucks, though. Look, I like how they, they set her up with, like, a little f There's no way this is still in Amishville. This ain't in Yoder's back hut, okay? They just made this shit up in some f studio in Los Angeles. Like, I'll get, like, shunned or, like, yeah. my parents won't, like, they'll just consider me, like, not, like, their child. Like, that's the biggest part that is I'm afraid of. Also, you're not even allowed to leave, but the TV show... That T like, there's no way this is real, right? This has to be fake. They had to have been like, here, we'll write you a hundred thousand dollar check, Amish civilization. If we can pretend that one of your daughters is gonna leave, break off. There's no way this is. Why would they let the TLC people film this? Doesn't make any sense. Nothing will ever be the same. True. True. I feel like this is green screen worthy. Oh, it's over. Fuck. Yeah, that's the intro, though. I don't really know that much about Amish people. I don't know anyone who's Amish. I know a Mennonite, so that's kind of weird. All right, guys, this is the uh, the Amish. The first time going to an English grocery store. I asked Rosanna and I to get some groceries for the house. Right. Some apples I'm and. I'm excited to see how an English uh, grocery store looks like. Also, why do they call it English? Are they in England? Looks like they're in America. There's cucumbers. Look. Look. They're already cut. Look, There's Rosanna. carrots and celery. They used to switch to. Yeah. She likes I it. can't believe that the English people buy vegetables that are already cut and cleaned. They're wrapped up. They're ready what? to eat. That is so lazy. Why wouldn't you just do it yourself? They're cleaned already. They're wrapped up. They're ready to eat. And they cost 50 cents more. I'm not lazy, Amish. All right? Don't call me out like that. You mess with the bull, you might get the horn. Okay. How can you make milk with almonds? I didn't know how you would, like, how they would make it. There is no milk in almonds. Jesus Christ. She's so defensive and, like, angry about this. She's essentially assaulting our English culture. Here's Rosanna getting her belly button pierced. It's gonna feel a uh, little cold. This ramps up quite fast, by the way. Oh, there. Here's a, a, a Amish meme. It's a meme. It's I, I do this every video, so you guys press the like button to drive engagement to get my channel more views so YouTube 
will promote my videos more. And that's all this is, but it's also a good meme and also a place to rest. I know you've been enjoying this video. Why don't you just take a quick breather, my friend? In through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm such a nice guy helping you relax. Also, go ahead and press the like button if you like this meme. And caption this image if you want to be eaten in the next one, my friends. Here's the image from the last one. Here's the best three captioned. Delicious. Oh, very good. And please enjoy the rest of Return to Omish. Rose, don't look at it. It's going to be okay, Rose. I'm look at her. My <laughs> All right, you're, you're, you're contemplating leaving Amish. Then you go to a grocery store. Get a piercing next. All right, get a damn piercing. That's the next step. That's what I did when I broke Amish. I'm getting my belly band pierced. And all of a sudden, right. I just my you won't be allowed to heaven with that. You're having a panic I attack. I can't breathe. I just feel like I was just like having a panic attack, and ah! I just freaked out. I don't like this. I gotta take down the green screen before something scary is edited in behind me. Ah! 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 She should have thrown a knee. It's okay, Rose. Did she just say fuck? Fuck. Fuck. That did not look fun. That did not look fun, guys. I feel bad for her. Why'd they make her do that? Did they <laughs> Did they make her do that on the show? I will give you 50 bucks. 50 bucks and a bottle of butter. If you go get your belly button pierced. Get your belly hole pierced, Rosanna. You'll be all right. Don't look at just it, Just take Rose. a deep breath. It's okay. Don't jerk around. That did hurt, too. Oh, dude. <laughs> Accents are awesome. Was it that bad as, like, as bad as you thought it would be? Yeah, it was. Okay. All right, they say beauty's pain. I haven't heard that saying. If that's the case, then how did I get so beautiful and live such a privileged, pain-free life? This one's called Rosanna Goes on Her First Date. And it's basically Rosanna met a man named Nick and they're gonna go on a date. And she's on my show, it's really weird. It's really weird and awkward. I'm so excited. You look excited. Back in the old do Yoder look hut. Okay. You look very Amish. This is exactly English what I want boy. in the English world, is to English be the world? girl that goes out on a date with the boy that likes me. And we're in America, not English. All right. Once you learn that, you'll be a lot better off. Okay. All right, Rosanna Yoder, I in English. I speak American. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So Nick is, appears to be an old man. I haven't told Nick this, but I was never alone with a boy before. Because in the Amish community, we are not allowed to be with a boy alone. Right, right, right. That does make sense though. I mean, you know, bad things happen when you're with boy alone in the English world. I mean, uh, or whatever, I don't know. I think you're beating me on this hole. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to impress you with my golf skills, Shut but I don't up, think it's man. working very well. You're taking it easy on her. I also, think he was there's the police out there. I think he was just like letting me win. He absolutely was, Ooh, too Rosanna. Much too. Like I really do. Yeah, you suck. I you swear honestly you're better at this than me already. You got a lot of hidden talents. Wow, he's really good at golf. <laughs> he's gassing her up, dude. <laughs> Pretty. He's trying to get in that dress. And like to it, like to let me win, so he right. can tell me how amazing I am. Look at her. <laughs> Poor old Amish dude, I love him. Amish folk out there, but oh my god. Also, uh, just another little quick thing. You weren't alone at all. You had there was a whole camera crew there. You're not alone with a man, so okay. Maureen got her field plowed by Danny apparently, and this is after the date with Nick. So I'm not sure what happened with Nick. I I, I assume only one field got plowed. Let's see. 5 a.m. What the f I'm always so up who's early that? with the baby, but this who's morning that Rosanna was up early too. Why is she wearing a dish rag? She, She's wearing like a ShamWow dress. She said that Maureen was out all night and that she thinks Maureen must have lost her virginity. It looks like a ShamWow. And we decided to wait up and make sure also, that Maureen doesn't try to sneak back into the house. How the f do they know that? <laughs> You've been out over 12 hours. You lost your virginity. Oh, he's so <laughs> embarrassed, bro. I have her dress is still open. <laughs> what are you guys doing still up this time? Yeah, you've been you tell him, Marine. You've been deflowered. Your cheeks you. are pink. You guys need to be in bed. You should have been sleeping a oh, long well, time ago. Oh, what about you? Straight to hell! <laughs> Unpinned, deflowered, pink cheek. Right down to hell! You're far from God! Maureen, you're going straight to hell! Look at a lot of almonds down there, at least. You should be in bed. You should have been sleeping a oh, long well, time. That's right. You? That's right, Maureen. You tell him. What the f is that baby doing, by the way? Did you make any babies tonight? <laughs> <laughs> <Moink>. Yep! 
Did you make any babies tonight? Also, the vibe that she's giving off is so weird. She's got the the aura of a doll in a horror movie. You look terrible. What? <laughs> Are you jealous? She is. Look at her. She's extremely jealous. Yeah. Jealous. Jealous. And? Amish. And it's none of your business. Bust it open, bud. Crack back. Give us a TikTok dance. I want to see an Amish person do this. Not possible for me to return to Amish. I'm not welcome. Here's Maureen's and Rosanna's GED assessment. This is the saddest slash funniest thing I've ever seen. And you're going to love this. I'm sure if we like do it together, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Today, we're going to go get our GED the minds of two assessment Amish. to see how an Amish education is compared to an English education. Are far superior to English. I'm really nervous, but right. for Rosanna's sake, I'm just going to try and act really strong about this right. and i was a teacher For so Rosanna's i'm sake. gonna try and help her as much as i can right she's the genius of the group she's more the brain and the other one's pinky rosanna's pinky pinky in the brain pinky in the brain one is a genius the other's insane is that even i haven't even heard that and since i was probably like eight years old what right. subjects did you study in amish school math and spelling and okay. history were the most important okay okay those are all very important you didn't have science did you talk about no chemistry science? or no, physics no we didn't have to do no. that because it wasn't we it's didn't they didn't think it was necessary right it's not real right right that makes um, sense that makes what sense about space if i said space is there anything space meaning the heavens right what's that mean to you to amish woman do you know what i mean I don't and think they do. You know, I don't know what, what like you mean. Planets. Right. Like the air or what? This is adorable. No, like, like what's, the, what's above out in the outer space? Planets, stars, moon. <laughs> it must have been homeschooled. <laughs> I was homeschooled, guys. Also a farrier. So I'm starting to think the Amish education maybe may have some a few uh, flaws in the ter in terms of like their curriculum and like general you know general studies. Like what are they learning? Seems like maybe next to nothing. The Amish you know there's moon and stars and all okay. that, but they're very wise. We just don't do science and we read right. about the stars and the moon in the Bible. Oh, that's fair though. Let's just that's talk reasonable. a tiny bit about U.S. history. When you I'm a, think of an expert all on history. the country, all the history, can you think of a historical event? Just one? Of any kind? Anything World that happened War before one? today in World our country? World War II? Before today. Civil rights movement? Like, I might Vietnam say, well, War? World War II. JFK assassination? Operation Northwoods? Uh, Gulf no, of Tonkin? there was never a war like, when I was... Operation Paperclip? I don't remember in a my, war in your like, life. I don't remember any... <clears throat> like any wars or anything like that in my okay. life. Which means there was none. All right, guys. She's a genius. Out of sight, out of mind. The Amish are a perfect example of out of sight, out of mind being a, a like a, because they seem happy. I mean, that's, you know, life isn't about knowing stuff. Life is about being happy and contributing to something greater than yourself, right? I think she's doing this. So let's, you know, there's no reason to be mean. I'm, I'm the only one being mean, but you'll figure it out. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, no, I was Amish. I didn't really know. You didn't, okay. Right, right. You didn't know nothing. So, That's does true. the name George Washington mean anything to you? You know yes. G Dubs? Yeah, I know. I heard. Who's George Washington? Yeah. I don't know who he is, but okay. I, I know we learned something. It's okay. Cool about Do you him. think he was early <laughs> in our country or later in our country? No idea? She has no idea. Okay. Right. What were you our first say? president. He was our first president. Correct. Genius! That's right. The school teacher. I mean, she <laughs> pulled that one out of thin air right there. I was. It took a while to answer, though. She may have checked her notes, unfortunately, I think. I think she cheated. Is Amish school even real, though? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Do they have school? They do okay, seem so have, have like they're having such a great time, though, you know? Like well, she doesn't. Just getting a bunch of stuff <laughs> she she, she does, though. I just don't get why you wouldn't get sick of raw fish, because you get sick. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be the single greatest shot in cinematography history. There's two Amish looking at a fucking <laughs> boat of sushi. <laughs> What is this? What is this? <laughs> Anyways, we've learned a lot about Amish folk. Thanks for watching. If you want to see another episode of Return to Amish or anything TLC related, you want me to review more of it. Follow me on all my social medias. There'll be links down below to everything. Instagram, Twitter, I respond on pretty much everything. If you tweeted me, I'll respond. Press like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and watch this video, my friends. Thank you so much.